right. I, I have Google Earth skewed over to give some of the uh, exaggeration in depth here. So the women would have been murdered in this area. The Dunlop girls would have run a quarter mile up this small ravine here. This is the only thing that approximates a ridge in the immediate area of this event. Over here is where the men were murdered. All the way up here, that little dark green spot is the Mormon camp. And then this ridge is Dan Sill Hill, which would have been the ridge that Nephi Johnson supposedly would have stood on and given orders because he's at Mormon camp. So now we've moved up from the murder scene so we can take a look down in this area and find a ridge where some Mormon could stand that doesn't exist. The only ridge that's anywhere close by is here. And from this ridge up to here is a good half mile. And this width here, this is three tenths of a mile. And that's a quarter mile to the Dunlop girls there on the left. Half a mile to the ridge. Three tenths of a, I'm sorry, <coughs> three eighths of a mile to where the men were. But we don't see a ridge anywhere. It's because one doesn't exist. Never existed. Any more than a curlum. So the Mormon camp is in here. There's a spring in this little area right here. If you were on Google Earth, you'd see it's water. And uh, to get from, you know, here up to here is about a quarter mile. It's a good half a mile from here over to where the uh, immigrant camp was. Then the Indians supposedly were in this area. Mormon camp in here, Dan Sill, and then we have this hill here that I believe John D. Lee and others are referring to as he's walking over this ridge and trying to get out of view like some kind of a skulking, guilty feeling guy when all he's really doing is putting distance between the two parties so they can be more systematically uh, easily murdered. So we've got a half a mile over to the camp there, about a half a mile down to here. So how are you going to be notifying Indians? It didn't happen here anyhow, but even if it did, how are you going to be notifying Indians to come in and attack these people? And this would have been the ravine that uh, Platt, Benjamin Platt, showed Osiah Gibbs as the location. And then this map gets created by Gibbs, which is then used by Juanita Brooks and Bagley and other people use that map. Now, Walker, Turley, Leonard have a photograph in their book that gives the location just where I showed you at that large, broad, white colored turnout that conforms to the Prince map. Dan Sill Hill again. Well, maybe Nephi stood up there and blew his horn, you know, like the famous statues of Nephi and his horn. And Nephi Johnson blew his horn and the Indians came a running. That's the problem. Nothing the Mormons say pan out. Well, the bottom of Dan Sill, <clears throat> a hill, and this other hill. And then we got this all skewed over, but the immigrant camp is here. It's uh, just a good quarter mile up to here. It's 650 feet to here. These are long shots. Okay, so now we're on the opposite side of the camp, the immigrant camp. And these hills are about 500 feet away. The closest one you can get at the base here is about 450 feet. Now, there used to be more rocks out here. These little dots, these are rocks. So this area has been plowed, and so most of the big rocks have been moved. Uh, but there would have been rocks out here then that uh, Mormons could have hidden behind to fire shots <clears throat> closer than the 450 feet you need from this hill to shoot 
And if you're on a hill, it's a little easier to shoot down, if you will. You know. This is about 300 feet. Okay. Out to here is 1,200 feet. And then from here across to here, that's 600 feet. And from here out to here is almost this is 700 feet. This is 450 feet. That's 550 feet. That's 750 feet. And over to this cliff is 1,800 feet. Now, there's a story about two Mormons being forced to run across a valley. Well, the immigrants shot at them. Where do you think this happened? You have a very, see this area in here? Very narrow area to shoot at in here. So if they're, if it, you know, I'm not saying this even happened. So if they ran across here, the window of opportunity is just about three seconds or so. Now across here, if it happened, and it didn't probably, uh, this is 600 feet, so that would be about 30 seconds. Then supposedly they met John D. Lee on the other side in this story, which is repeated by many people involved. Uh, John D. Lee meets him on the other side, and uh, he shows them the holes he has in his clothes from a, uh, an early assault he made on the camp when uh, three bullets went tearing through his clothes, supposedly.